Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. Today I am going to be teaching you what function parameters are, how to use them, and I will also be showing you how to use return statements. By the end of this video, you will be able to make your functions a lot more useful. So last video, we learnt about functions. In this video, we will be learning about parameters. So parameters allow us to give information to the function from other parts of our program. Okay, so let's get into some programming. Okay, so let's just create a new function. Let's do define uh, multiplication. Then two brackets, but then we want to put in here num number one and number two. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's do print. Print number one is number one. Print number two is number two and then if we just call the function uh, let's do five and four then we run it and we get number one is five and number two is four so let's add a little bit more to this and I'll explain it once we've finished so we'll do product equals number one times number two print the product is product okay and then we run that number one is five number two is four the product is 20 because five times four is 20. basically this is our placeholder and then when we call it these placeholders get replaced by the numbers five and four five four and then print number one is five, print number two is four, products equals five times four, print for products is 20. So we could change these to, let's say, eight and two. Number one is eight, number two is two, the product is 16. Now let's talk about getting data back from a function. We have given our function some data, and now let's get the function to give us some. So to do this, we use the return statement and this allows the function to return data back to us. So instead of printing this, how about we return product and then we do x equals multiplication and then we'll do print x and then we get 16. So what it's doing is it's calculating the product and then it's returning product so the value of this function is now product so we're assigning that value of multiplication to x, which is 16, and then we're printing x, which is 16. Okay, so that's the return statement. I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you have any questions about what we have covered in this video, or if you have any errors in your code, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is give this video a like. It really does help me out. Also, consider subscribing. I post Python content almost every day. That's it from me. Cheers, and goodbye.